there's great interest in the fact that you have joined the Muslim religion. How long have you had this interest, Cassius? Oh, for the past six years, I would say, after hearing a lot of teachings on Negro history and who we were before we got here, and one and one makes two. You feel your affiliation with the Muslim religion, being a follower of the Muslim religion, had something to do with your winning the championship? Well, I would say so. Uh, my religion is what the only thing that I can give me credit for pulling me through because uh, 99 out of 100 seemed to see no possibility of me winning. The newspaper reporters and everybody all over the world condemned me. They said it would be a mismatch and everybody, could nobody believe it. So uh, my prayers to uh, Allah and uh, faith in my religion, living a clean, righteous life, I have to say that's what pulled me through. Malcolm X, I, uh, I want to talk with you briefly about your affiliation with Cassius. How long have you known him? About three years. And have you been advising him uh, as far as his religious affiliations are concerned? Well, no, I don't give advice to anyone. He's my brother and my friend. I express what I know and understand around him, and then, but he has a mind of his own, an understanding of his own. Uh, the, the power structure had successfully created uh, the image of the American Negro as someone with no confidence, no militancy, and uh, they had done this by giving him images of heroes that weren't truly militant or confident. And now here come Cassius. Uh, the exact contrast of everything that uh, was representative of the Negro image. He said he was the greatest. Uh, all of the odds were against him. He upset the odds makers. He won. He became victorious. He became the champ. They knew that as soon as uh, if people began to identify with Cassius and the type of image he was creating, they were going to have trouble out of these Negroes because they'd have Negroes walking around the street saying, I'm the greatest. been great publicity given to the fact that heavyweight champion Cassius Clay is one of your followers. Do you think he's a sincere follower? Well, Cassius is following Elijah Muhammad, and uh, uh, I'm, no, I'm no longer a follower of Elijah Muhammad myself. I do believe that Cassius is sincere in what he has been doing. I was with him uh, during the nine days, I think, when he was training for the Liston fight, and he seemed very sincere. Whether he has understanding to equal his sincerity is another thing. Why did you fall out with Elijah Muhammad? Well, some internal uh, uh, disagreements, disagreements and differences that I would rather not go into, but I think that they will come out in public before long. These are personal differences? Well, for one thing, uh, I believe in the religion of Islam, and uh, I went to Mecca recently to get a better understanding of it, and I think that the black Muslim movement itself, if it doesn't adopt the Sunni practice of Islam, the orthodox practice of Islam, that it will disintegrate and fall apart. I understand that you're headed to meet with Elijah Muhammad? Yes, sir. Uh, having dinner with him. Uh-huh. Now, one, one of the main reasons is your friendship with Malcolm X. He's a friend of yours now, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he he's was a brother of mine. He's my brother. Whatever you do, he's my brother. Uh-huh. Now that he's split away from the Muslims... I don't know about splitting. I'll have to see the behind far out here. There's no organization in this country that could do more for the struggling black man than the black Muslim movement if it wanted to. But it has gotten into the possession of a man who's got become senile, and then he has surrounded himself by his children who are now in power and want nothing but luxury and will do anything to safeguard their own interests. The only thing that I regret in all of this is that two black groups have to fight and kill each other off. <laughs> Elijah Muhammad could stop the whole thing tomorrow just by raising his hand. Really, he could. He could stop the whole thing by raising his hand. But he won't. He doesn't love black people. He doesn't even love his own followers, proof of which they're killing each other. They killed one in the brown. They shot another one in the brown. They tried to get six of us uh, uh, Sunday morning, and uh, the pattern has developed across the country. The man has gone insane. Absolutely.
absolutely out of his mind. Besides, you can't be 70 years old and surround yourself by a handful of 16, 17, 18 year old girls and keep your right mind. You can't do it. Malcolm X and anybody else who attacks or talks about attacking that Elijah Muhammad will die. No man can oppose the message of Almighty God uh, verbally or physically and get away with it.